Hi, I'm Sam Wong from FundableStartups.com. I'm a startup CEO coach, author, and the instructor for a library of startup training classes. We're going to do a visual walkthrough of how convertible notes and safes convert to preferred stock. If you're not familiar with convertible notes or safes, then I suggest you watch both of these videos before continuing with this one. Be advised that this video is general information only. Please consult a qualified professional who knows your situation before making any decisions. To discuss how a convertible note or safe converts into stock, we'll assume that the startup begins by issuing a note or safe. The conversion process for both is the same, except the interest rate doesn't apply to a safe. Sometime later, the startup sells preferred stock to an investor, which triggers the conversion of the note or safe into stock. As for the pre-money valuation on the preferred stock sale, we'll have three different scenarios from a low valuation of $3.5 million to a mid-range valuation of $4.5 million to a high valuation of $6 million. All three scenarios assume the same investment amount of $1.5 million. For clarity, we've provided some pie charts that illustrate the final ownership of the Series A investors. Scenario number one has the lowest pre-money valuation of $3.5 million. First, we start off with a little chart with valuation on the vertical axis. The terms of the convertible instrument call for a $4 million cap, which is indicated by the dotted line. To be clear, investors get a better deal if the valuations are lower. Founders get a better deal if the valuations are higher. So let's walk through each step of the conversion calculations. The Series A investor put in $1.5 million on a $3.5 million pre-money valuation. Because the convertible instrument has a 20% discount, we multiply the $3.5 million pre-money valuation by 80%, which gives us a $2.8 million discounted valuation. We compare the discounted valuation against the valuation cap. Because the discounted valuation is lower than the valuation cap, the convertible instrument converts using the discounted $2.8 million valuation. Hopefully that's clear. We'll walk through this again in scenario number two and number three, so you'll get to see this again, only with different numbers. For your reference, we've included the ownership percentages of each party, the Series A investor, the angel investor that holds the convertible instrument, and the employees. Note that the math to figure out that the angel investor gets 6.9% ownership is actually kind of hairy. It gets really complex if there are multiple convertible notes or safes. In scenario number two, we'll assume a middle of the road pre-money valuation of $4.5 million. We have the same valuation chart with the valuation cap. As before, the Series A investor puts in $1.5 million but this time on a $4.5 million pre-money valuation. Because the convertible instrument has a 20% discount, we multiply the $4.5 million pre-money valuation by 80%, which gives us a $3.6 million discounted valuation. We compare the discounted valuation against the $4 million valuation cap. Because the discounted valuation is below the valuation cap, the convertible instrument converts using the lower $3.6 million discounted valuation. This is pretty similar to scenario number one. This scenario number two just shows how the Series A valuation can be above the cap, but the discounted valuation below the cap. And because the discounted valuation is below the $4 million cap, the note or safe converts using the lower $3.6 million discounted valuation. As before, we've also included the ownership percentages of each party. Because the pre-money valuation was a little higher, the Series A investor and the angel investor gets a little less equity and the employees don't get diluted quite as much as in scenario number one. Finally, in scenario number three, we have the highest pre-money valuation of $6 million. We have the same valuation chart with the valuation cap. And as before, the Series A investor puts in $1.5 million, but this time on a $6 million pre-money valuation. Because the convertible instrument has a 20% discount, we multiply the $6 million pre-money valuation by 80%, which gives us a $4.8 million discounted valuation. We compare the discounted valuation against the $4 million valuation cap. 
because the valuation cap is lower than the discounted valuation, this time the convertible instrument converts using the $4 million valuation cap. In converting at the $4 million valuation cap, the angel investor gets an effective 33% discount. As before, we've included the ownership percentages of each party. Because the scenario three has the highest pre-money valuation, the series A investor and the angel investor gets a little less equity and the employees get the least dilution amongst the three scenarios. Here's a single slide that puts all three scenarios side by side. Scenarios number one and two convert using the 20% discount. Scenario number three converts using the valuation cap, resulting in an effective 33% discount for the angel investor. Hopefully, this helps to clarify how convertible notes and safes get converted into preferred stock. I know this took a little while to walk through, but believe it or not, this is actually a simple example. When three or more convertible instruments are in play, the cap table and resulting waterfall calculations get really messy. If you're interested, we cover cap tables in more detail in one of our full-length startup training classes on fundablestartups.com. One tip in closing, save yourself some trouble by using a third-party platform to manage your cap table. Several cap table management platforms offer modeling features to help you calculate various scenarios so you don't have to do any manual calculations like what we did here. Now that you know how convertible instruments convert, you have the knowledge to stay on top of your startup equity. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, we'd greatly appreciate it if you would do us the favor of liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the bell so you'll be notified when we post new content. You can find more startup resources and training on our website, fundablestartups.com.